you've probably seen some cheap ads like that before. And before, I was telling myself, honestly, it's impressive the quality of this thing. It didn't get a scratch. Well, clearly, I was an idiot, simply because a helmet is made to break. So, I'm not saying that the first ones are better. They are super thin, and they protect from nothing at all. But if you pedal hard and your head hits a wall, there's something that has to break, and it's better if it's the helmet rather than your skull. To put it simply, it's the same thing as cars. People will tell you, no, but now cars are shit. They break at the slightest impact. Well, yes, they're right, and it's done for. Before, when you had an accident at 50 kilometers per hour, you would die. Cars now are designed to break. They deform and bend to absorb the shock energy in your place. And when you think about it, it's pretty logical. If you jump from a balcony, would you prefer to land on very hard, solid concrete or on a very soft and flexible trampoline that will deform to absorb the shock? Well, it's exactly the same thing with your helmet. 